who are you? Episode 10. Mom, hello. Why are you calling me so late? Is everything all right? And when should I call you, daughter? You're basically spending nights at your work. We're fine. How are you? I am great. Are you sure you're fine? I told you, yes. The news said that you arrested that mischievous reported. Did he really kill a girl? Mom. You know that I can't discuss these things with you. And don't pretend to be Madame Naive. It doesn't suit you. Fine, I won't. Are you going to come by? Of course. Maybe this week. No, I can come by tomorrow at lunch time. Okay. Great. I'll definitely be home. I'll be waiting. Oh, wait. Mom, my boss is calling. I'll call you back. Bye. Hello? Hi, princess. Did you miss me? I did. But I didn't. Is this your real voice? Do you like it? I see you became bolder. Stopped hiding your voice. Maybe you'll ask me out soon. I like your sass. And our date is gonna happen very soon. I'm ready. What do you need from me this time? I want to know what you decided to do with Radishni. What could have I decided? I know one thing for sure. You set him up. I, I gave you a real chance to get rid of that bastard once and for all. You don't even have to do anything. Just don't stop that fool from drowning. He is not a murderer. Forget about your principles. And I, nobody has the right to bother you. Of course, nobody except you, right? Is that what you meant? Only you have the right to meddle with my life. Yes, you're right. Now you have to decide. Sweet dreams. Damsel in distress. I'm in trouble. Night, my ass. So you think that Yan had set Radishni up to take revenge on him for bothering Inga? Isn't the scheme too complicated? Exactly. If her maniac really wanted to punish that asshole, he could just simply whack him and then call her to boast about it. But go through all these motions. I don't know, what if you didn't read his signs? And sent Artem to jail for murder. It would be too easy for Yan. To just kill the guy. Yan is smart. He watches everything from the sidelines. He feels his power more acutely this way. He is a manipulator, and I am sure that the subject studied basis analysis. He correctly evaluated the capabilities of each player of our team and left us just the right number of traces to notice. You're talking as if you're impressed with that psycho. Enough. Hunches are a good thing, but Radishni doesn't have an alibi and has a body in his apartment. When he realizes that he had been set up, he'll give us everything about his source. Sergi, in the meanwhile look what he was doing last night after 11 p. M. Wait. I don't get it. Major. Are you now ordering me to find Radishny's alibi for the time of the hooker's murder? Yes. Bloody hell. Well, I've... I've never looked for the murderer's alibi, that's for sure. Listen, Major, I'll go through Radishny's phone and computer in the meantime. If that psycho was feeding him info about Inga, maybe I'll find some leads. Do it, Pasha. Yeah, yeah. 
Call me right away if you find something. Okay. Pavlik Spider. Incoming call. Burning the midnight oil. Not on my own will. Listen, Major. Inga called about 20 minutes ago. Fine. What's up with her? Her pocket psycho called her. After the call, she asked me to trace it. Okay. Did you do it? The signal is encrypted up to the eyeballs. I've seen things like those only a couple of times. Listen. You're a genius or not? Stop rocking the boat, Herr Major. If I started right away while they were talking, I could have tried. But now, I'm sorry. I'll work my magic on Inga's phone tomorrow. Okay. Fine. We'll see tomorrow. Wait, Major. I got into Radishny's laptop. So, did you find anything there? Of course, I did. Well, looks like he received a virus with delayed activation. It must have been in one of the last emails. The hard drive is wiped clean. It's unpleasant to realize it, but your Yan is disgustingly good. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. What's up, old lady? Dumplings are expensive nowadays. Hello. Good morning. How are you, Inga? How am I? I have a chronic lack of sleep, but looks like it became a habit. And what did you decide? Will we save this idiot? Mikhail, what kind of question is it? I didn't expect to hear it from you. That idiot got a pound of your flesh from the looks of things. Maybe he didn't kill the girl, but he did things that weren't but better. Maybe we'll leave it all as it is. With the evidence planted by your psycho, a good prosecutor will put him away for a long time. So we don't need to stop him from drowning, right? What? Yan advised me to do the same. He called me last night and told me to not interfere with Radishny's murder conviction. But I think that we can't do it. Because if we just let it be, it will mean that Yan won. Get it? He'll gain an edge on me. If he talks about you, you'll suffer the same fate. I think I shouldn't have gotten you involved in all this. It's my personal issue. I have to figure it out on my own. Stop bullshitting, Inga. When my daughter was in trouble, I didn't notice you leaving me on my own. You're a member of the team if you haven't understood that yet. And we don't leave our people behind. We'll get that freak behind bars. And we'll begin with cracking that idiot's case. So come on, let's go. We have to work. Listen, Herr Major, is Inga with you? She is not picking up. Get her to me with her phone fast. What happened? I was thinking about how to catch that hacker. And I came up with an idea. Listen, it will take a lot of time to explain. Let Inga come to me with the phone. I'll explain everything to her. Fine. I hope you'll explain everything to me too. I will, of course I will. Do I have a choice? I will install everything on herself first. See you. See you. I'll give her instructions and treat her to a cup of coffee. At a boy. Later. Um, let's go. You'll have a cup of coffee. Shall we? Let's go. Good morning. Morning. Captain, sir, what are we going to do now? I don't understand what to write in Radishny's case file. 
a suspicion of a setup done by the English Stefan Stalker. That's nonsense. Are you out of your mind, Lieutenant? Keep quiet about Inga. And her stalker too. We need to move quietly and dig up where that idiot went after the dive. Do you believe Yen? Did the murder at Radusnys? Of course, I have no doubts that he is stalking Inga. But to kill a stranger just to set up some asshole because he was bothering Inga? Lieutenant, take a seat sometime and count just how many people this Yana fed while he's stalking Inga. And those are only the ones that he boasted about to her. I really have no idea how she managed to live with it for two years. Just don't feel sorry for her. If it was that bad, she would tell everything to her friends at the FBI long ago. Not to us. Cut the crap, Sergi. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? And next you'll say that she made it all up. I won't say that. But all of this is very weird. Being as smart as she is, Inga hasn't found who it might be. Besides, this maniac is very weird. A regular a maniac would offer long ago. And that's all she wrote. That's the thing. As far as I understand, he doesn't want to kill her. He wants to control her life. Anyway, listen, I don't give a damn about Inga's incognito maniac. But I do care about Radishni's case. I'll go and talk to him my way. And maybe this case will fall apart. The one with the setup. Yan told us to step aside and enjoy watching Radishni's suffering. He wants to have fun. What a bastard. What else did he say? He said that he was the only one who had the right to interfere with my life, and that we'll have a date next. Like that? Yes. His mental pathology is progressing. He became bolder, stopped hiding his voice. It's logical that a meeting will be the next step. Are you sure that you didn't recognize his voice? Of course I am. Well, I would have doubts if he was whispering, but he talked in a normal voice. Don't worry, we'll get him. I know, but I don't want to stop my life because of him. Way to go. That's right. Okay, we'll go to Pasha now. He came up with something for your phone. Yes, Svita. We're on our way. I'll take it. Come on. Okay. Look. This is a fad. That's what I call it. How does it work? When you get a call from an unknown or hidden number, my server connects to your call automatically. As soon as you pick up. Got it so far. Yes. Next. My server will record all your phone calls and I'll try to trace them. I give you my word that I won't eavesdrop. Spider's honor. Only if you ask me yourself. I'll only check your logs. I am not even gonna ask about the logs. It's a register. It's easy. There is a register of external events and a log of systems work. E2 to E4. That's it. I still don't get it. Why do you have to use the fat on all the calls? Let me put it this way. Because it's better to overreact than underreact. Your stalker is a technologically savvy dude. I experienced it last night. He can encrypt the signal so well that you'll get a call from one of your contacts while in reality, it will be this twat. So, let's play it safe, just in case. I got it. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome, Inga. But still, I will not rest. Why do you call it a fad? Why not? I like it. It's a nice name. Fine. Thanks again. Just like you. So beautiful. An old-time friend called me. 
Radishny's lawyer is prancing around to change the preventive measure for him. What do we have on Radishny, for real? You got it, Major. Their decision largely depends on that. What do you have? Radishny's case is intricately connected with the Abienga stalker. Report. Yeah, we need to keep this Radishny in the slammer. You get more flexible. I'll explain my opinion to the court, of course. Radishny doesn't have many trump cards. Therefore, nobody will be surprised when house arrest won't be granted. I think his lawyer understands it well. No doubt about it. Roman is an experienced lawyer. That's it, you're free to go. Oh, Major, what about Inga? She's hiding from me. She doesn't come to her parents. Does she manage? She does. And she works great. I hope so. Go. Radushni, go out. Forward. I can see you've gotten the hang of it. Way to go. Get used to it. I don't have to. I'll be released tomorrow. Yeah, everybody says that. Move it. Oh, this is what I need. Hello. Captain. How's it going? I don't understand the question. Oh, you mean my health. I had the shit in the morning, and I have a minor headache. Are you afraid that I am not up for the interrogation? You need to go to the doctor. You have been very jumpy recently, and I can see that you didn't get any sleep. So snitch on me to the major, like we like to do in the unit lately. Captain. But not your holster at least, because you're going to interrogate a murder suspect. Well, you pug. Will you continue to deny everything heroically or are you honest only after SN? We can arrange it. All we have to do is warn the guys in the cell. Don't take me to the cell. I'll sue you for insulting me. Don't call me like that. Like what? Pug. Sorry. I thought you like it, that it brings back good memories. And yeah, sue me. File a suit when you'll be tried for your girlfriend's murder. To kill two birds with one stone. I didn't kill her. I wasn't even home. Fine. Where were you, then? Ha. Ah. You're a weird person. Pooh, sorry. Artur. You're saying that you didn't kill her, and you weren't at home. And I'm ready to believe you, but tell me where you really were at the time. Provide an alibi to the investigation, or write a full confession. If you don't want to go away for life, of course. Everything is going according to the plan. Our heroic lover believes that his preventive measure will be changed. And it won't be changed. No. I've just talked with the general. He complains that you forgot about your family. Right, right. I wanted to ask you take an hour off. I promised to come to mom for lunch. May I? Take two. Thanks. Okay, where the fad? Mom, hi. You have a perfect sense of time. I'm standing by the car to go to you. Are you serious? Yes. I will believe it if you come right away. I am on my way. Warm the soup up. Okay, see you. Okay, the fad. Yeah. Hello, Inga. Well, everything's great. Everything works. You had a call from Yur. Inga, why do you need to check me? Well, you said to check all the phone numbers. So, I... Don't overdo it. Nobody will find out my number anyway. <laughs> she does like me.
stay seated. Where's Stepanik? He said that we needed to stop fooling around. He's right. Old school. Did he tell you where he went? Okay. We need to get some work done too. We need to trace Radishny's route and find out where he really went after the dive. That it was time to work the case for real. I already checked the car yesterday. It's fancy but there are no gadgets in it, like a dash cam or a satna, or they were taken off. It speaks in our favor. It means he's done something. It means he has something to hide. Push him. I want to model the best route from the dive to his house to the house while considering where his car was found. And check the incident reports in that neighborhood. Fine. Get to work. Oh. What? Sergi, what do you have? A soap opera and agony. I got out of there to not burst into tears. Because I see dark, and tears prevent me from talking. The lawyer came to the pug with bad news. Did the court refuse to change the preventive measure? Oh, you knew about it, didn't you? But our bird will start to sing now. Let's go and listen to it together. Listening. Hi, princess. Where are you going, asshole? I get it that you're driving. Yes, you got it right. However, I can choose better expressions for you. Don't be rude, princess. It doesn't suit you. I'm glad that you made the right choice. Do you mean the fact that Radishni stays in jail? It doesn't mean anything. It will just be more comfortable for investigation. He won't go to prison for a murder he didn't commit. I promise you that. Well, we'll come back to this topic again, and I... It's not the end of the game. Listen, Oleg, what do we have? A wasted guy in the car, not a junkie. Where was he? Right. Misha, these are the most unexpected news over the last two days. Listen, we didn't examine his car. For what? He didn't put the body in it. But I went to the impound lot and went through his Lexus. There's a dent of the fender and a scratch on the bumper. The marks are fresh. We were talking about what he could have done that he keeps quiet. The car accident is the easiest answer. Maybe he ran over some granny or pushed another car into the ditch. Good job and a brilliant version, Misha. Well, if it was a car accident, it must have been something serious with fatalities and a lot of aggravating circumstances. He fled the crime scene, driving wasted. He has what to hide. But in the murder, he is just a suspect. I'll go and talk to the traffic police. I'll ask them to look it up. Okay. And talk to Lieutenant. He's checking the accident reports now. Maybe he found Radishny's car there. Why are you so wound up? Everything's fine. I just can't get used to our roads. Listen, do people ever pass driving tests here or do they get the license as a birthday present? They get it as a present. Let's go. The food will get cold. Yeah, let's go. Weekend evenings are busy on these routes. There are many dives on the way. You'll be looking for him for a long time. Thanks. I found it. What? I think I've found it. Look, Michaelo. About midnight, about five blocks from the Clio bar, a car ran over a woman with a stroller. The driver fled the scene. There are witnesses. They remembered only a partial plate number. 
Judging from the description and time, it's our client. Great. Hello. Major, sir. Looks like have a witness. Great. Text me all the info on the car accident. Later, Sergi, listen, is Radishni still chatting with the lawyer? Maybe you can go. The guys found a suitable car accident. I didn't eat at all today. Can I have a bite? Let Stephanie or Taryn go. Fine. Call me later. Sergi, is everything all right? Are you okay? Did you all conspire today or something? I just asked. I can work. But I cannot dance, for example. Yeah. My husband and I took our daughter for a walk. Alia is teething and doesn't sleep at all. She doesn't let us sleep either. And in the fresh air, she sleeps, at least for some time. I was pushing the stroller and almost reached the middle of the crossing. And suddenly, that bastard came out of nowhere and ran the stroller over. So what next? What happened next? What next? We flew off the car. Me to one side, the stroller to another. And that bastard didn't even break? God, it's great that I was pushing an empty stroller. And Vitya was walking behind me with Elia in his arms. When I think that I could have put her in the stroller? Calm down. The main thing is, it's all right. Don't win yourself up now. The kid can feel it all. I have a daughter myself. But she grew up already. Do you remember the car? It was dark. My husband says it was a Lexus. Black. Well, thanks for the talk. Get well soon. Call right away if you remember anything. We'll find that bastard for sure. I didn't kill her boss. I've never met that girl if that's what you're gonna ask. Your evidence is circumstantial. Mr. Radishny wasn't at the apartment at the time of the murder. None of the witnesses saw his car by the house. The anonymous call to the police was made by somebody who strangled a girl in my client's apartment and set him out. Right. However, your client still doesn't have an alibi. Yes. Yes, copy that. Taryn is checking the CCTV cameras from the street where the accident took place. He called and said that the recording is bad. It's unclear, it breaks up and nothing can be seen. However, I bet that this is our boy's accident. What about the cameras and witnesses of the car accident? That's right. A dead end. I'm sick and tired of that pug. How did Inga manage to tolerate him for so long? Listen, Major, let's bluff. Get rid of his lawyer for 10 minutes, and I'll crack that twat. Roman, this is Major Mischenko. Can I talk to you for a moment? Don't worry, everything will be all right. Can we go to my office to talk about your client for 10 minutes? Yeah, sure. I won't talk without my lawyer. We don't need you to anymore. Everything is in this file already. By the way, don't worry about your mysterious alibi. We found out ourselves. 
What did you find out? On Sunday around midnight you, Mr. Redishny, while driving your Lexus, license plate number I-33166, and being severely intoxicated. On the corner of Lipinski and Kudryashev Street, you ran over a young woman that was crossing the road with her one-year-old daughter that was in the stroller. You fled the crime scene. The witness, yes, there was a witness. The witness testified that you didn't even break after the collision. Mother and daughter died at the hospital from sustained injuries. Give me some water. So, what do we have? We have a witness, a recording from a CCTV camera, a dash camera, and a satnav. You disposed of them right after the accident, but we'll find them too. Now, I understand why you prefer to stay in the slammer on suspicions of a murder that you hadn't committed. It's better go to jail for a murder of a whore, right? And not for the murder of mother and a child while being wasted. You know, you may be lynched for a conviction like that. Let me write a confession. Why do I need it? You were bullshitting us for over a day. Please, let me confess on my own. There you go. I love your salads. Really didn't have such a tasty meal for so long. You're welcome. Come here more often. Maybe you will get used to it. I won't ask you about work. You won't tell me anything anyway. You don't need to hear about murders. I have a secret. Promise to not tell Dead about it. Otherwise, he'll start torturing me with his advice. Okay. I am planning to write a thesis. Well, I'm collecting materials for it. Don't tell Andy why, because she will tell it to uncle, and he'll send me straight to library from his office. Deal? Deal. Listen, can I dig around father's books while he's out? I want to find some book titles and then order them for myself. Huh? Just warn me if he comes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. There you are, darling. Okay. The birthday date doesn't work anymore. Let's try the date of my return. Stability is a sign of ability. I love you, Dad. To buy rubbish like this just because your daughter ended up studying at the FBI. Mom. I found everything, thanks a lot. I have wet hands. It's all right. Say hello to Dad. I have to run. Bye. Bye. A no number. Okay. How do I? The fad, one second. Hello? You've disappointed me, princess. Why did you entrust our story to those dumb cops? They have no imagination, only the service zeal. What are you talking about? Now the bastard Radishny will go to jail for a trivial car accident. Yeah, Inga is talking to him, right now. No, it isn't working. I told you there were no guarantees. Okay, give me five seconds. Those idiots even let him write a confession. They are great. I am glad I trusted them. You can only trust me. Don't forget about it, princess. 
Who do you think you are? What do you know about me? Do you think that you can read my thoughts if you hacked into my files? Hell no. No way. Got it? I know everything about you and I. I created you. Who would you be without me? An actress? A swimming champion? You became who you are thanks to me. Do you remember why you decided to become a psychologist? Don't worry about the radish knee fiasco. You learn to act the right way. I'll teach you. I'll find her. She's going like hell. Does she drive well? Like in a movie? She is going towards the Soria cinema. I can't pinpoint the exact location. I'll follow her and try to reach her. You'll guide me on the way. Don't call her when driving. You'll both die. Inga, Inga, where are you racing? Hello? Does Sofia Gershenko still teach here? Yes. She's the principal. Great. I am Inga Stefan. I'd like to see her. Will you show me to her office? Thanks. Well, breathe out, Herr Major. She parked. Without a single accident. At least, there are no accident reports from this neighborhood. Memorize the address. I was told that you returned from the States. You have an unusual job for a lady. I'm a consultant psychologist. I work at the police. I decided to follow my father's footsteps. Gosh, life is so interesting. I was always sure that you'd become an actress. Stop it. You had talent. Don't argue with your teacher. Honey, do you remember how we staged the Snow White with you? You were around 15 then, right? Your princess was amazing. It worked out great. Yes, Princess Snow White. Yeah, those were the times. Do you remember your star manners? You don't? Come on, we were having a general rehearsal, but you kept turning your nose from the apple. You had to bite it only once, but you said you wouldn't do that, because it was too sour and gave you a toothache. Then I sent one of the kids, the dwarf, to the supermarket. I told him to bring you the tastiest ones. He did well and picked huge, red, and sweet ones. You love them. I remember that you were eating them all the time afterwards. Stefan, it's showtime. That boy, Dima Maleshko. A tragedy struck his family a year later. His big brother, who studied in the parallel class with you, jumped from the seventh floor staircase. He died. Your parents sent you to some relatives at the time, that's why you don't remember that. That summer, my best friend drowned in the pool. They said it was an accident. Yes, I remember. Igor Maslov. He was a great kid. And a great athlete. Maleshko Sr. died. Exactly one month later. Dima, that dwarf, didn't back here the following autumn. Why? I don't know for sure. His family was rich, they were business people. People were talking that the parents took Dima to America to treat his nerves. His brother jumped off right before his eyes. And the boy was 13, an impressionable age.
Now we know who to look for, and we'll find him, don't worry, we'll go to the firm now, we need to calm the boys down, do you think I'm the only one who is worried for you? Sergey made Radishny fully confess. Not for the murder, of course, but it was fair. I know, Yan told me, he is mad that you ruined his plan. I shouldn't have gotten you all involved in this story. You know what, stop talking like that, you're not alone now and you won't be. We're together now, got it? That's it then. Guys, thanks a lot. You did a fantastic job. I'm sorry that I didn't help you at all. Thank you. Don't put ashes on your head. If not for you and your psychological tricks, we would be still digging in a wrong direction. That's right, Inga. You ironed out all the kinks. She says that she didn't do anything, and who identified this psycho will catch your maniac in the nearest future, for sure. Believe me, well, we make a good team. I won't wish you fruitful work. I wish everybody to have less of it. Inga, Inga. Inga. Yeah? I'll think about how we can catch that maniac. You're all good here. But there is only one genius, have no doubts about it. Thank you. You're the best. They are homemade. Granny sent them. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah. I. Wait, wait. This is for you. In honor of what? In honor of your safety. It's a tracker, just in case. I got it. Thank you. I hope you won't need it. If it doesn't, I can wear it as a pendant or give it back to you after the case. You can leave it. Why the lock? I worked with what I had. Okay, I thought you chose it as a symbol of you holding my safety in your hands. Maybe I did. Thanks. Will you find out? Of course, I will. Will you tell me about it? Why do you need the Melishko family that immigrated to USA in 9899? I'll tell you later. I promise. Scouts honor. You've never been one. Fine, you've got me. All right, I'll tell you why I need this info, but it will be next time we talk. Is it a deal? I know you well, Shtifi. I can see you've gotten into some serious shit, up to your ears. It began when you returned back home, and it's getting worse. I don't want to pressure you, but I won't tell you single word from what I'll find until you tell me the entire story. Did we understand each other? Do you know who you are? You're a buzzkill. It's a deal. Fine. I have to go. Love you. Kisses, hugs, and I'm eagerly waiting for your return. Bye. Manipulator, my ass.